today we're going to do the setup on this 185i weld max inverter IGBT and I'm going to show the proper hookup on it for stick welding. In this case we're using 7018 electrode so we're going to use a negative ground here's our ground cable and clamp to the table hook it up right here to the negative side and our stinger for the electrode goes to the positive terminal right there and now we're good to go basically all I got to do is grab the electrode and put on the hood and weld here's our controls and basically we're powered on and all we're going to do is set the correct heat setting we're on a 220 power source so that's the red dial and we're setting it approximately at 120 amps okay when you stick weld and you first strike the arc you want to make sure it's just a smooth striking motion without sticking the rod because if you stick the rod it heats it up and it cracks the flux and it kind of falls off so you want to avoid that just a smooth little light striking motion once the arc strikes strikes and starts up then you choke up on it shorten the arc and and keep it real close to the metal and and keep the puddle even size and width all the way down the metal as you deposit the weld that was good Let's slag the weld. quality 7018 weld okay now that we have the machine turned around we're going to show the, the connections on the back the brass one is for the air compressed air for the plasma arc cutter and this one in the center is for the CNC connection port and here is the off and on power switch and I'm going through the setup for the plasma arc cutter on the Weldmax 185i. The setup for the plasma arc cutter is a little different from stick welding in that the ground setup is a re positive ground and the plasma arc runs off a of straight polarity which is the negative side. And it's a that big plug in in the middle has a 40 amp tip which is plenty for cutting heavy all the way up to one inch material now that we've got the correct setup and connections on our leads we want to go to the dial for the correct settings on our plasma arc cutting and it's a three position toggle switch we want to be on the one in the middle for plasma cutting and over here on the right is the heat setting and it's the innermost ring and it goes from 20 to 40 amps and 40 would be on the high side for heavy thicker material and 20 would be on the lower side for the thinner material we're going to cut a piece of quarter inch aluminum that's been welded in a corner weld and I'm just going to cut across at an angle with the plasma arc when you're plasma cutting 
you have to make sure that you got all the necessary settings on the machine and that means you want to set the heat the amperage according to the thickness of the material and you need enough air uh, PSI coming from the compressor to push the arc and cut through the material so if you're doing heavier material like half inch and thicker up to one inch you want to make sure you got more than 40 pounds PSI I would say 60 minimum you have 50 to 60 it should cut through it relatively smoothly Okay, I cut through that with no, e no problem. Very easy. That was our setup video for the Weldmax 185i multi-process machine that comes with all of everything you see here. The plasma arc tips, the torch, the adapter cord, stinger. Make sure you stay tuned for the next video on the TIG weld process for the Weldmax 185i.